Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a feature review. So for today's review, I wanted to show how you can apply a selective filter in Snapseed and then also from there, apply multiple fi filters. So if you have an image that you want to touch up in different ways in different areas, then you can apply them all together and then save the um, edited image as one. So what I'm going to do is I'm already in Snapseed, so I'm going to open up this image I have. In this case, it's a screenshot from uh, Game of Thrones Season 6, Episode 7, I believe. I think it's Episode 6, maybe, but most likely Episode 7, The Broken Man. It's an image of uh, River Run. So um, as you can see, it's just a standard screenshot, nothing too special about anything like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to apply um, the HDR filter at 50%. I'll take maybe tune it up to 100, see how much it changes. Um, it's minimal change, so I'll just I'll keep it up at 100 and apply it there. Um, but I want to now differentiate, let's say, the castle itself in the middle here versus some of the other elements, so the waterfall and forest here. There's a big tree on this side as well. Um, some of this land down here on the bottom. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the drama filter. It's at 50, this is uh, 90 and 10, uh, maybe toning down the filter strength a little bit and the saturation bringing it up to re-add the color. Um, it makes it nice, but then now there's a merge, or there's no real differentiation between the castle and the waterfalls here and the tree on this side. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to still tune it up to 100 and I'm going to in I'm going to jump a step further a little bit and say that I want to differentiate the trees and the sky a little bit and keep those maybe a little bit different color just to add a little bit more of a evening nighttime effect but keep the rest of the picture sharp and um, eye popping so in this case I still have the drama all the way up at a hundred percent um, so from here what you're gonna do is you're gonna touch the number button at the top right of your screen and then you're gonna touch the drama filter and you're gonna touch the brush so you can see that now we've it's kind of undid the filter and it's only kept the HDR filter enabled so what you're going to do is you're gonna now um, use your finger you're gonna highlight any pic part of the picture that you want to apply the filter to um, I kind of went over the castle a little bit, so I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to go back and try that again. And I'm going to um, only highlight the parts of the picture that I want to apply it, my, the filter to. Um, and since the castle and the forest kind of get close, I'll zoom in and um, make the adjustments there. I'll zoom back out. I'm going to adjust here. Um, and I'm only going to apply the um, drama filter to this uh, highlighted part and then I'll later come back and add the black and white filter to some other areas as well. Um, I also, since I already selected the trees on the left hand side here, I'll um, also do the same thing to this tree here, keep the drama effect so that kind of keeps the tree popping as well. And since we have some sky and the tree branches, I'll, do, I'll select some of those branches and zoom back out. So now I'll hit the um, check mark button to show is done. So now you see that the filter has been applied to um, the trees, the water, and all of that. So it's still an HD picture, and the rest of the image is still jumping out. You can kind of see some of that differentiation there. So now, um, as I mentioned, I want to do some black and white just for some contrast in the picture. So now I'll go down to the black and white filter, it applies it to everything. Um, you can adjust the brightness, uh, contrast, and uh, green. Um, so I'm just keeping everything at zero, just a stat static black and white image. Um, so same thing, I'll hit the check mark, and then I'll go to the number three in this case, and then um, I'll go to black and white, touch the brush, and I'll start highlighting the sky and the tree so I can, um, apply this filter just to those areas zoom in in some of the areas where it cuts it kind of close so um i can get a better more granulated uh, application of the filter there um i want to cut this a little bit closer just to um bleed that application as well um i want to get some, the edge of the tree here as well i'll zoom in and get some of this as well so I get as much of the tree as possible 
And then there's also uh, trees here on the um, left hand side of the image as well. So um, maybe just some of these trees right here that are um, in the, some of the um, black branches there. And then there's also a little bit of tree down here at the bottom. So I'm going to zoom all the way in and get the tree um, apply some of that there and then I'll hit the check mark so now when I zoom back out again you'll see some of the contrasting features there so now my tree and sky are black and white um, kind of that um, horror um, emphasized look and feel of the sky coming over the uh, castle and then we have the emphasized waterfall we have the castle in HDR so kind of three different pieces coming together is all all as part of the same image. So um, it's all blended together as smoothly as possible. And then if you need to make any other adjustments, so let's say you find that the, some of the shadows um, don't work well, or you want to have some a little bit of darkness coming back in. So I'll um, tone. You can tone down the shadows as well if you want to darken the image a little bit um, uh, to smooth that in a little bit. So let me be down, down to 50%. So this is the edited picture. This is the um, with shadows down to 50. So you still get the different shades and all that, but it looks a little bit smoother. So let's see, I'll keep that in there as well. So you get the full, a full range of different um, effects going on in different parts of the image. So from here, I'll hit the save button. Um, the photo will be saved shortly. You get the little animated mm -hmm. icon. So the photo is now saved. So now when I go into my gallery, um, I can see this is the new image, or sorry, this is the original image, just a plain old image, a little bit dark, nothing too special. But uh, now I can go into my uh, edited image. I'll rotate my screen, make it a little bit bigger. And um, it looks a lot sharper. It looks a lot more active, a lot of different things going on. A lot of the water effects still going on. We see the mountain and the sky kind of competing a little bit. So a lot of different, we have three different filters and uh, call the shadows kind of merging it all together to bring the effects down to a little bit more of a normal level. So you can do all of these together or you can do um, individual ones or um, bits and pieces depend on, depends on what you want to do with the image. So um, it all depends on what kind of image you're editing and what you want to do. So um, I took this picture at the Getty Villa. Um, recently so let's say i wanted to do a black and white filter on um me let's say i wanted to only apply it to a part every uh, to the background of the peacock and nothing and leave the peacock in color just to um get just to emphasize that but still um have a full image or still have that comparison uh, with of the or the matted finish with the background and then um, some of the um, colors still remaining so um, you kind of get that effect there as well so hitting the back button so you, now you get just the peacock in color and the background in black and white so whatever you want to do depends on what you want to uh, how you want to share that image and how you kind of want to emphasize the pictures you're taking so um, that's really all there is for that so Snapseed is available for Android and iOS for free so definitely worth checking out i know this is this is tested on and used on the android side i'm 99 percent sure it's also available on the ios side um but definitely worth taking a shot and playing around with um i kind of do like um that or since now that i've been figured out how to use that and how to uh, play around with that a little bit more it's nice to be able to compare uh two images and um, emphasize what i want and uh, maybe even emphasize certain areas of the picture more than others and the same thing can be done with people so let's say you've taken a picture and you want to emphasize a person in a picture in hdr and hd let's say or um, you want to make the, to have a, you have a picture of a person and you want to have the background in black and white kind of like the peacocks example then um, you can do that and emphasize the person that way so if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com and you can find me on twitter at patel and 01
So that's it all for this particular review. Thanks or feature review. Thanks for watching and listening. And until next time.